So finally, this is the last week of apartment hunting. I had applied to four apartments over the weekend. All those apartments are in volume 7 of the series. Since nothing is finalized, I do not want to put all my eggs in one basket. Well, technically, I have my eggs in multiple baskets. I really want to finalize this upcoming week. After that, would be the last weekend of February, and I don't want to keep it till the last minute. Since none of the four apartments have been finalized, we are continuing the search and at the end, making hard decisions. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Tisha. After my first move to New York City beginning of 2023, which did not go as expected, I am moving again, and I will be moving by myself and my dog Chappie. Remember the studio apartment from, I think this was in part five of the series? The one with the squeaky floors for which I had applied for it and then someone else got the apartment because they ended up paying a higher broker fee. So the same broker reached out to me and he's really nice as well. I had to pay good faith deposit when I had applied for that studio apartment. It takes a while for the brokerage company to return that good faith deposit so i had followed up with him and he actually ended up transferring back the 500 dollars good faith deposit from his own personal account itself otherwise he had followed up with the brokerage company and no one had responded back to that so he messaged me that there is one studio apartment that just got listed on the market it has an elevator it has laundry in the basement and it has good storage space decent living space as well when i was waiting for my broker to let me in there was another broker in the lobby while i was waiting for him she was the one who let me in and she was telling me all the brokers from their brokerage company are going on pretty hard with this listing my main concern here would be the street noise but at least from when i was there it wasn't too loud it was bearable i would say So the apartment with the white color decorated fireplace, I followed up with the broker. The broker mentioned that there's no new update from the current tenant. What she mentioned was that if the current tenant responds by end of this week, then that apartment will be mine. So she said it's off the market. So she said the risk here is that the tenant might end up staying in the apartment for a few more weeks. And she said she's also helping the current tenant find an apartment. If she gets an apartment, then I'll get the apartment, that's what she told me. In Nepali, we say Bhagya. Bhagya means destiny in English. If it's written in my destiny, if it's meant to be, then it will happen. And I'm hoping it does happen for her, and I hope it happens for me as well. So I emailed her back saying that I'm okay to wait for a few more days. But again, I know the apartment hunting right now is pretty brutal because there was another two apartments I hadn't viewed, I had just reached out and I was planning to view maybe in upcoming days. Both sent out a message today saying that the current tenants decided to stay, which based on the current rental market, I think it makes sense. For the other one bedroom apartments with the wooden kitchen area, what the broker mentioned to me is that the owner really liked my application and she also has a dog and her dog is very similar to Chape. Good news on that side because otherwise the building does not allow pets. However, the owner still wants to continue showing the apartment till Wednesday and they will only make the decision after that. So he sent out an email asking him if I'm okay with that. I haven't responded yet, but I'm gonna say yes. So now update for the other apartment. This one is a rent stabilized one. It has a wooden decorated fireplace. The one which has an April 1st move in. So when I first got the call, I got so excited thinking that he probably called me to let me know that I have a strong application or maybe with some good news. He just called to let me know that the owners have moved the move-in date from 4-1 to 415. The reason is because after the current tenant leaves, they want to renovate the apartment a little bit. So he was asking me if I'm okay with that. Another thing he mentioned that they have received a lot of applications and people are putting down higher broker fee and or higher security deposit. They can't really 
propose a higher rent since it's rent stabilized. So I asked him how much are the other applicants putting down the broker fee. He just told me that the competition is pretty high. I could see that when I went to the viewing itself because it's rent stabilized, it's good price, it's one bedroom, it has washer and dryer. I told him that if the move-in date is gonna be 415, I'll make it work somehow because technically my lease ends end of February. I'll have to figure out where I'm gonna store my stuff and I'll have to figure out where I'm gonna stay for a month and a half. Beside that, I told him to submit my application with 18% broker fee. It's high when I calculated it. And what he told me was typically when you submit your application, it's when you mention what broker fee you want to pay. Well, if you're planning to pay a higher broker fee, maybe it's given, but I just didn't think about that. We all know from the past experience that it's very hard to get a rent stabilized apartment. I applied to three rent stabilized apartments. I didn't get any. And now coming to the one bedroom apartment, the small one, when I went there, there were a lot of people there. The broker didn't say all these words, but I just felt it that way. It's just based on my opinion. <laughs> so the building does not allow any pets. So I feel like my application won't even be considered because there's so many out there because a lot of people who came in, they seem to be interested which makes sense because it's 2300 it has washer dry it has an elevator the building looks clean lobby looks clean apartment is on the smaller side but it looks clean so i feel like my application won't even be considered because there's so many out there i passed by apartment number 10 the one that got away that particular apartment has blue color kitchen tiles or it's called back back splash i believe and that blue black splash is very specific to that particular rental management company because i remember when i posted part two of the moving series there were two or three people who recognized the building management and they have a lot in this area that apartment not working out was a good thing when you're posting your life online you do want to keep at least the area you're living somewhat not discreet but not obvious mainly because of safety One broker responded early afternoon that he's showing the apartment in the evening. So I'm rushing to head there. So hopefully it works out. I don't even know how much is the broker fee. I did not even ask. I was like, you know what? I will just go because it's a one bedroom apartment. It looks decent in the listing. And also the reviews online were pretty good. It was snowing earlier today. So I thought it would be cold. I'm wearing my very warm coat. But it's so warm right now, I'm sweating. While walking home i came by the park people are out and about since it's snowed today morning <gasps> just to clarify i'm not celebrating anything right now i'm just to be honest stress eating so the one that i saw today it is a one bedroom apartment but it's on the smaller side there are no closets at all windows in the living room faces south it has a beautiful decorated fireplace i'm not really sure if it will fit everything the windows in the living room faces a school i did ask the broker if it gets noisy during like lunch break or after school hours what he told me was he hasn't heard previous tenants mentioning about any noise issues as such because my concern is during summertime because one of my friends her apartment is right next to a school and she does mention to me that during summertime it gets very noisy because all the kids are playing outside so there are no storage in the living room area bathroom he said was recently redone also on top of the bathroom there is a storage as well the kitchen is decent sized it has good enough drawers and storage space now coming to the bedroom this is more like a den i would say but again there are no closets when i was talking to my sister i was telling her like oh i think it should be fine i will get a wardrobe like from ikea her question was is it even big enough to fit a bed and a closet which i'm not really sure yet when i left 
from the apartment viewing, I was very sure that I will apply. But after talking to my sister, I'm a bit iffy now. What's the harm applying? That's what I'm thinking right now. So just an update. So for the studio apartment with the elevator and the laundry, the broker just responded to me saying that the that they went with another applicant. I did ask him why. He just messaged, he's sending me another option. This one, I was really hoping I will get it because it is in an elevator building, it has washer dryer, other apartment. I didn't get a note from the broker, but I did see an update on Street Easy that the apartment is off market. Seeing two apartments go off the list at once, it's getting to me. <laughs> I'm heading out for dinner for Valentine's Day. I am going with my sister, her husband, and my best friend double. So when I was talking to you guys, I mentioned that the broker sent me another listing. What he mentioned to me was that he can move my application along with the application fee from um, that studio apartment with the partition wall to this one. So this one is $26.50 with one month broker fee. The actual listing price was $2,700. When I told the broker that I'm going to think about it because this exceeds my budget, he said he can do it for $2,650. So without even seeing the apartment, after he sent me a video, I was like, please submit the application. I will come later today or tomorrow to check it out. Before mentioning that, I quickly checked the apartment reviews on Open Igloo. It's all right. Before viewing the apartment, the broker told me that I'm approved for it. This was the apartment apartment is a one bedroom apartment it does have a closet in the living room the living room is facing south kitchen is spacious as well it does have a small bedroom but that's more like a den not really a bedroom and then the bathroom is right next to the bedroom so in order to go to the bathroom you would have to walk through the bedroom it has a closet there as well bathroom looks all right i didn't see any red flags when i was viewing the apartment and also it has washer dryer in the basement the bedroom floors are very tilted so when i put my bed i have to like level it at the same time the apartment for which i had applied yesterday with no closets for that one i got approved i think i need to make a list of all the pros and cons and then make a decision laundry is a big factor to be honest the only hesitation for me is i don't want to go through the same experience with what I went through with my current apartment. Oh, I don't know yet. Yeah. Good evening everyone. My name is Epson Tosa. Thank you for coming and happy Valentine's Day everyone. Ah. Cheers. a few updates for you guys sorry i'm just like so exhausted right now that's why i am like this i didn't really vlog that well since there was a lot going on so at the nepali dinner i got the email for the apartment again i don't remember the apartment number i'm just gonna place it on the screen a couple of days ago the broker did mention that the owner liked my application however she does want the broker to continue the viewings up until wednesday and then after that they will make the decision so i kind of thought i would not get this apartment very shocked for my approval i forgot to give an update for the rent stabilized apartment so i did not get it and it's crazy to think that even when i had submitted my application with 18 percent of broker fee i didn't get it so at the end there are four apartments for which my applications have been approved. From out of four, one of the apartments I will be moving forward with. I just don't know which one yet. So we'll see how things pan out at the end. I'm very excited for all of this to be over. I can finally start packing and then actually moving. going nowhere lately it's time to start all over and go for it cause they don't even they don't even know me yet but that's something i don't regret
After being almost 50 apartments and applying for I think 13 apartments in total, I can't believe it's done now. So at the end when I had to finalize, there were four options. So my first choice, the one where the current tenant was also apartment hunting. So for that one, I waited till the end. I waited till the end and I pushed out the lease signing for this apartment as much as I could, but the current tenant couldn't find an apartment. And I'm curious to know what happened with her. Now coming to the third choice. So for that apartment, it felt like a knockoff version of my first choice. My sister Patricia and I, we did go there to take measurements and after taking measurements, we were like, nah, the apartment will look like a furniture store. So that one was a no at the end. And the fourth apartment, that one is also one bedroom apartment and it has washer dryer in the basement. That apartment, I was very close signing it mainly because of washer dryer and it's on the second floor. And I went to see the apartment again with Patricia to take measurements and just to feel out the area as well. And also I wanted Patricia's opinion too. We walked there in the evening and I didn't like the area. Daytime would have been fine, but evening time, it did not feel safe. That apartment after walking there the second time, I knew it was out. This apartment fits a lot of my criteria. The living room is very bright and sunny. Windows are south facing. It has massive closet space, storage space. And the main thing that I wanted was distinction of space since I work from home. Cons for this apartment is a fifth floor walk up, but the ceilings are not that high that it feels like it's a sixth floor or seventh floor walk up. Because some of the apartments that I saw for fifth floor, either the ceilings were so high that it felt like it was a seventh floor walk up. This feels like a fifth floor walk up. And then there were some that were on fifth floor, but it did not get that much of sunlight. I feel like if I'm gonna walk up till fifth floor, I do deserve some light. And I hope my knees, my knees will not give up. I just love how big the apartment is. So the original broker fee is 12%. I was able to negotiate and bring it down to 10%. I was hoping to bring it down further to 9% so that it's closer to one month rent. But at the end, we landed on 10%. And for this apartment, there is one time move in, move out fee. That's something that I should have checked while viewing the apartments if there are any other fees beside broker fee. Since this is a brownstone, I did not expect any move in, move out fee. There are some apartments where I've seen monthly pet fee or one time pet fee. At the end, the broker ended up covering for the move-in and move-out fee, which is $250. So I ended up paying one month of security deposit, which is $26.50, and then 10% of the annual rent as the broker fee, which is $3,180. And then I had to pay $3,198 for March rent and also prorated for February. So the March rent is $2,650 and then the prorated February rent is $548. So those are all the fees that I end up paying. And also for the lease term, when I had submitted the application, the lease term was 13. At the time of lease signing, the owner wanted the lease term to be 14 months. So my lease will end May 1st. May 1st is when the peak period of the rental market starts. So I really hope next year I don't get hit with that. But I have noticed in the rental history for this building that the tenants do stay for a long period of time and it does look like that the rent prices do not get hyped up too much. Even though I wasn't truly a big fan of signing a 14 months lease and having my lease end date as May 1st, just based on whatever information I had at that point, I end up signing for it. Finding a good one bedroom, one bath for my budget is very hard. There are a lot of options for studio apartments, but I was very determined to find a proper one bedroom apartment since I work from home. And I'm glad at the end, I did. The entire apartment hunting process was very tedious and once it ended, I felt such a huge relief, but I'm so happy where we landed. When I do the summary of the apartment hunting video, similar to what I had done when I first moved to New York City, well, the format might be a bit different this time. I learned a lot from this experience, so I do want to include the mistakes I made, my advice, and then also at the end, I'll include a total of how many apartments I applied for, how many I got rejected, and then 
how many I got accepted for or any apartments that I got accepted but at the end I did not end up taking it I'll do like a whole summary of it at the end I'm very happy where we landed and I can't wait to make this space my own now the official move-in parts will start along with decorating the apartment if you enjoy these kind of videos or New York City vlogs or if you just want to follow my journey don't forget to like and subscribe whenever you interact with the video either it could be like comment subscribe or just watching it signals YouTube to push out the video to a larger audience if you have an Instagram my Instagram is Tisha Shrashta and I'll see you guys in my next one bye